Uh, here's a Hammett paint and update uh, using a white primer because uh, I'm going to do like a green color and I want it to be a brighter, cleaner looking green. So I'm doing a white undercoat just to brighten it up. But I'm not liking this paint. Uh, using this uh, clean metal primer so you go to like you know raw metal no finish on it sanded metal and uh, well it says uh, ultimate finish on bare painted or lightly rusted metal but uh, I done painted it once lightly coated it and it had some runs in it and I just painted it again and it still has some small runs but uh yeah, I'll probably take a scotch bright to it or uh, one of the sanding sponges and knock it down. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going with. Is uh, My favorite color is green. So I have like a green base coat and then I'm going to do a green metal flake over it. But just spray bombing it. Just uh, have something to do and practicing see how it looks right, yeah it's just uh, as far as I've gotten so far check back later well we'll give this a try it's getting kind of late but this is the color I'm using key lime key lime also bonds to plastic Uh, Rust-Oleum American Accents. That's a really cool looking color. Actually went on there rather smooth and clean. Uh, it's more green than it's showing up. But it's got a sky reflecting on it, but it's uh, it's more green than it appears in the camera. And you get around here where it's more shadowed and you can kind of get an idea of what color it's going to be. But yeah, I think that might be pretty cool with the black accents of the trim and the chin straps and all. But I might do a little bit more to it. I wanted to do the metal flake on top, but I'm kind of digging that right there. So, uh... I might go with that, uh, do the visor in black, and uh, maybe put a coat or two of clear over it just as a protectant and give it more depth and more and be more shiny, use a gloss. So yeah, I'm digging that. Not too bad. Something that's more high visible. But uh, just getting, this painting it for a motor scooter, moped, or liquor sickle, or whatever you call them these days. Scooters, motor scooter, I'm not even sure. But, uh, but yeah, that's it right there. Primer and paint. Let that dry, but it's getting late, so I'll probably have to put it inside the car. One of the neighbor's dogs is just raising cane. But yeah, let me see if I can shot you anything cool looking. I think we're gonna get a rainstorm. 
So yeah, there's the evening sky. But uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna get some rain. So I definitely have to put that inside. But we also got uh, gravel today. I wasn't here, I went to work. But uh, they delivered some gravel. Not sure, I told them uh, gray, crush and run. But that's pretty fine. So that's supposed to be seven tons. But, yeah, let's park the car back on top of it. But right there's pretty thick. Pretty thick right there. But that's where the majority of it landed and then that kind of gets thin as it goes down. There. But yeah, it looks like a, it's pretty fine, but a lot of uh, sand in it. A lot of the run. But uh, we had a good base up here. We had uh, pea gravel as a base. All of this was pea gravel. And then down there it was losing gravel. It was just grass and packed. So we'll probably have to get another at least another seven tons but yeah he came and dropped that off today well how's it work i don't know if it's a deal or not but seven i mean uh 250 for seven tons so 15 tons was 500 dollars but it was a lot to spend at one time but yeah, I want to do all of the driveway gravel, all the way back here gravel, all of this gravel underneath that truck gravel, all of this side yard gravel, gravel through the back gate, and gravel out there where that truck's parked. So yeah, probably another at least 15 tons at least 15 tons with another seven here it would be thin though and then another seven out there on the end of the driveway past the gate and then out into the road but yeah that's what i got done today well i didn't get it done but that's what happened today but yeah.